Hello everyone. In this video we have the family tree of the Turkic languages. As you can see it's a big family of uh, I suppose uh, over 30 languages. So let's begin with uh, the Proto-Turkic. Uh, Proto-Turkic isn't a real language so it's re it's a reconstructed one like Proto-Indo-European. Of course there was a Proto-Turkic uh, which was yeah, spoken by uh, some proto-Turks, I'm not sure. <laughs> and we have uh, two branches from uh, the proto-Turkic. It is said that pro uh, the common Turkic and the uh, uh, Arit-Turkic, so Lear-Turkic and the South-Turkic was split uh, after uh, the division of the Hyungnu Empire. So uh, the Hyungnu did split into North and South and the northern branch was the Ogur branch and the southern branch was the common Turkic. So first of all we have the Ogur branch uh, and the Ogur branch there are uh, three uh, languages for now because the other are disputed. We have here the Chuvash language which is uh, still spoken today, the only survivor of Ogur languages. Uh, it's very distinct language but it's Turkic. Uh, we have here the Khazar language, um, which was spoken after the um, between the seventh till eleventh century, I think. But its classification is also disputed if it's over or not. And we have the Bulgar language. Bulgars were a nomadic Turkic tribe who lived uh, in the uh, Pontic or Kipchak steppes from the fifth century to the tenth, eleventh century, and. Yeah, um, it is also said that Ogur is a language of, yeah, according theories, uh, of the Hyungnu, uh, the Huns, the White Huns, or uh, the Northern Way in China, also known as Tabgaj or Tuva, also the Avars in uh, Hungary. So uh, these are disputed languages, but, uh, it's not sure whether it's Turkic or not. Uh, in the common Turkic we have here five branches which the one is uh, really distinct like the Chuvash but it belongs to the common Turkic branch and uh, the Kalash language is uh, yeah uh, nobody really knows from where it came from it's very archaic language today it is spoken in Iran maybe in Afghanistan as well but not sure uh, it is said that Kalats are, are descendants of the Heptalites, so the White Huns. Uh, according to Mahmud Kashkari, there were also other Argu groups, but um, yeah, I didn't include it. So we have the Kalaj, which is um, really uh, vulnerable, which is really in a vulnerable state. So they have uh, 20 30,000 speakers. And we have the Oz branch. Uh, Oz branch is the, uh, came from the. Yeah, pr according to Professor um, Ahmed Tashal, he says that the Oz branch uh, did originate uh, after the collapse of uh, the Western Turkey Kaganate with the Turkish. So um, uh, we have here three branches. So before the Seljuks, th these were all one languages. Uh, we have here the Western Oz. Uh, we have here first the Old Anatolian Turkish, a language which was spoken in the 13th and 14th century in uh, Anatolia, Iran, etc. I say it Iran because I will explain this here. And then Ottoman Turkish came. Uh, Ottoman Turkish has three versions. So uh, one version for the elites and uh, one the middle class and the one the lower class. Turkish is more like a mix of the middle class and the lower class. So Azerbaijani, um, so Azer unless, uh, unlike uh, the Turkish, Azerbaijani has no older version like Old Anatolian Turkish. But uh, I've checked uh, the book of Dede Korkut, which was written in the Akkoyun period, which can be considered Proto-Azerbaijani. It's almost identical of Old Anatolian Turkish. So my guess is that uh, these uh, Turkish and Azerbaijani split uh, were split in the late 15th century and we have here Gagaus, Gagaus, yeah mm. according to theories they are uh, descendants of Pechenegs, Kumans or yeah I'm not sure 
but their language is almost identical to Turkish. Uh, it's very similar to Balkan accent of Turkish. We have here the Pechenek. Pechenek's are uh, are Oz group, so they are part of the 22 Oz tribes. But according to Kashkari and some written sources, they have their own distinct language. We have here the Soda and Rose Kashkai. So Kashkai are uh, nomadic people, like uh, like um, like Yuriks in Anatolia. Uh, they were they are descendants of Seljuks uh, who stayed in the southern Iran. They are today still nomadic and they have a similar language to Azerbaijan, but it's a southern group. And we have here the Salar in the eastern group. Um, Salar is a is also a one of the twenty two Oz tribes or twenty four according to Abul Ghazi Bahadur. Uh, this language is spoken in deep central China and and. It is uh, unlike the rest. It is really um, distinct from other Oz languages, but yeah, it's it's Oz language. But um, how can I say? Um, never mind. Okay, um, it's very different. And we have here the Turkmen language. Turkmen language is re uh, can be understood by Azerbaijani and Turkish speakers at some point. But their language is um, kind of weird. Uh, let's say they have uh, lisps. But some claim that um, it's because the standard accent, some um, standard accent which was imposed by Soviet, I guess, uh, by uh, yeah, the standard accent was belonging to a tribe, I'm not sure which, which had uh, lisps. So yeah, but the written version of Turkmen is quite similar with Turkish and Azerbaijani, and we have here Khorasani Turkic. Which is also similar to Turkmen, but it's kind of the southern brush of it. But it's also a distinct language. We have here the Karluk group. Uh, Karluks are a nomadic Turkic groups, uh, which live it under the how can I say under the suzerainty of the uh, Gupta Khanates. But they never had its, had their own Khanate until the Gupturks were destroyed. So, uh, yeah, uh, Karakhan, when, when the Gupturks were destroyed in the 8th century, uh, the Uyghurs succeeded him, but uh, at some point the Uyghurs were also mm, divided into, yeah, they also migrated to, uh, migrated to China. Then uh, a ruler came out, he claimed to be uh, a descendant of Ashina tribe, which is the royal clan of the Gupturks. And yeah, he claimed uh, himself as the kind of uh, step, declared his own um, Kaganate. And yeah, uh, Karakhanids were uh, very advanced in uh, in the literature. They have uh, very, very much uh, written books. It's also said that the Karakhanids had the first uh, Quran in Turkic language. Which was written in Turkic language, and and uh, for example, Kutat Kubilik was also written in Karakhanit uh, or uh, Compendium of Turkic Languages by Mahmud Kashkari. So yeah, this language was uh, followed by the Khorezmian language, which was uh, at fir at the first point um, the literal language of uh, the Chatay Khanate. Then it turned into the Chagatay later in the 14th, 15th century. Then in the 17th, 18th century, it was split between Western Turkey language and the Eastern Turkey, which we today know as the Uzbek and Uyghur. And we have here two uh, distinct branches of Karluk. I didn't include them by, by Karakhanids because it's like uh, similar to Kalaj language. These two, uh, they are. Um, it's like a mixed language which uh, with Persian, Persian. And yeah, also it is also claimed that Ainus are descendants of Heptalite as well. And we have the Kupchak branch. Uh, the Kupchaks are uh, nomadic people who lived in the uh, between the 10th and uh, 14th century on the Kupchak steppes, which we know as the Pontic steppes in Eastern Europe. 
So there are three branches of Kipchak. Uh, first, we have here the Old Tatar language, which is ancestor of Tatar and Bashkir language. Some call them Old Bashkir, but yeah, it's a common ancestor. And we have here the Southern Kipchak branch. We have here Kazakh, Karakalpak, Kyrgyz, and Siberian Tatar. Even it's Siberian, it belongs to the Southern branch. And we have here the Nogai in the Caucasus. And we have here the Fergana Kupchak, which was spoken in the Fergana Valley, Uzbekistan, until the um, 1920s, but it's not spoken anymore. And we have here the Western Kupchak branch, the Kumuk language in Dagestan, Karachai Balkar in Caucasus, the Crimean Tatar uh, in Ukraine, uh, Urum language. Urum is also disputed. Um, some say it's identical to Crimean Tatar, but it's not. Uh, it looks kind of like the mix of Turkish and Crimean Tatar. I want to also add that Urums are not Turks, but uh, they are Turkophone Greek, so they are Greek speaking Turkish language. And we have here the Karaim and Krimchak languages. These are Judaist Turkic people who speak uh, uh, yeah, Kupchak language. And we have here the Kuman language. The Kuman uh, are um, we are in a confederation with the Kupchaks, so uh, it was spoken until the 17th century, I guess. Kumans after Kumans were destroyed by the Mongols. Uh, they took refugee into Hungary. Hungarian king accepted them. About uh, it is said about uh, forty thousand or two uh, two hundred thousand Kumans. So at some point they were mixed with Hungarians and a lot of people forgot their language. It is claimed that some people are of Kuman ancestry in Hungary. And we have here the Siberian branch. Uh, Siberian branch was the oldest attest form of the Turkic languages. Also the oldest alphabets belong to the Siberian branch such as Orkon and the Old Uyghur. So in um, the Siberian branch, we have North Siberian, the Tolgans, and the Saka, Saka uh, or Yakuts, as you know. And we have the Southern branch. First, uh, we have the Old Turkic branch, which was spoken in between uh, early sixth century to the tenth century. We have here the Orkon Turkic, the language uh, in the Orkon inscriptions. We have here the Old Uyghur uh, and the. Old Uyghurs um, are the successors of the uh, Second Turkic Khaganate. They destroyed the Second Turkic Khaganate. At some point, they migrated into central China, where they became Buddhists. And yeah, at some points, they became uh, assimilated. And there are uh, descendants of the Uyghurs called Uyghurs. So uh, modern Uyghurs are different than old Uyghurs. So Uyghurs uh, speak uh, a similar language, very similar to Old Uyghur, so it's a descendant of it. We have here the Shor language uh, and the Kakas. Uh, Kakas language can be said that uh, can can be called Old Kyrgyz language, so the Yenisei Kyrgyz language. And there are also distinct brush uh, few Kyrgyz spoken in Manchuria. And we have here the Altai Turkic, uh, the Northern Altai and the Southern Altai, which is spoken in modern day uh, Altai Republic. And the Siam Turkic, spoken a little bit uh, in the north, in the Siam Mountains. We have here Duka and Tuvans in the Tofalar. And there is also a distinct branch, uh, Chulum. Uh, I think this language has uh, like 10 or 20 speakers. Yeah, um, there are also dialects, but these are the main languages. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have some questions, uh, please write in the comments or some critics' comments. Uh, these are all welcome, and thanks for watching.